Welcome back everybody. Up until now, everything has seemed to suggest that there would not be a Luke and Leia reunion in The Last Jedi. At least that's what I've been coming across this whole time. Well, it seems that now there will be. Everybody's favorite theory buster, Pablo Hidalgo, seems to have confirmed we will be seeing the Skywalker twins one last time. StarWars.net.com have reported that during a Comic Con over in Chile, Hidalgo spoke for around 30 minutes answering questions from fans. He said the following, Luke and Leia have a scene together where they will meet. Now that's pretty cool if it's true, they certainly deserve a scene together, but why ruin it for the fans? Wouldn't it have been better not knowing going into the movie and being pleasantly surprised by that scene when all rumors up until now have suggested that there wouldn't be a reunion? Did he let it slip? I mean he must have known with the internet that it would spread like wildfire. The article even suggests they might meet on Arc 2, while others are speculating it will be on Canto Bight during the rumored Han Solo funeral, or the Resistance's HQ on the planet of Dakar. Hidalgo also added that even though the first Jedi Temple is found on Arc 2, the stone huts we have been seeing are actually the homes of the guardians who look after the temple on the island. So, the inhabitants are still alive then. I imagine we'll get to see him in the movie, interesting stuff. In other Star Wars news from the past week, Mark Hamill was not on board with the direction of his character in The Last Jedi, but seems to have come around. As we can see in this Twitter feed, Hamill tweeted, I was, as I often am, wrong. I hope the story is actually amazing and that's what made him come around, rather than him feeling obligated to join the team and help market the movie. It looks like Adam Driver is really into method acting. Over at VanityFair.com, Mark Hamill said in one of the articles promoting the onset photo shoot by the photographer Annie Leibovitz, quote, I remember saying to Adam, I don't know how you work or your technique, but at some point you were my nephew. I probably bounced you on my knee. I probably babysat for you. There's that side and now we're both estranged from the Skywalker family. All I'm suggesting is, if you'd like, maybe we could go to lunch. We could get together and hang out. Driver having his own methods did not take Hamill up on his offer, and more power to him, Hamill said good-naturedly. End quote. Why so serious, Adam Driver? We got this image of the First Order walkers that we never got to see up close in The Force Awakens. They were somewhere off in the distance during General Hux's speech. Star Wars Episode 9 will begin filming in January 2018, with a release slated for May 24th the following year, returning the franchise to its customary May release date. Principal photography was supposed to commence this summer, but due to Kerry Fisher's untimely passing, the date has been pushed back as Kathleen Kennedy and the rest of the team behind the project decide what to do with her character, who was supposed to play a large and important role in the film. Over at Entertainment Weekly, John Boyega gave an interview where he seems to suggest his character Finn might have cybernetic enhancements to get him back on his feet after the devastating blow that basically left him a cripple. We got a whole bunch of photos for upcoming LEGO sets, including one of Supreme Leader Snoke, a 2 second leak of Battlefront 2 gameplay, and finally a photo of Finn's blaster. Apart from the Vanity Fair photo shoot, these were the most interesting news and rumor articles I could find. I hope you enjoyed them, leave your thoughts down below, and as always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, share, sub, and all that good stuff, and until next time, see us.